Hey, hello dear friends. Yesterday I posted a video of a fraction multiplication and then I got a friend asking if uh, I could do a division of fraction video. So let's do it. So you have to understand one thing. Fraction, division and multiplication, the process of doing it is the same, but dividing a number is to multiply, it's reciprocal. What does it mean? So, 1 over 2, divide 1 over 3. What does it mean? The first number you do not change. The starting problem that the problem we the, the, the number we are going to divide will not change. And dividing one over three it equals to multiply three over one. So this we can change the way of writing it. It's equal to first number do not change. Second number, we want to change the sign from division into multiplication. We can change this one upside down. So it becomes 3 over 1. So the result is 1 times 3, my glitter pen. 1 times 3 is 3. One, two times one is two, so three over two. This is good enough if you are in high school. Some teachers prefer pure fraction, and some teachers, especially in elementary school, they would like to do it with mixed number form. So one over uh, one and one over two, one and a half. Okay, this is our first problem. Now we do the second problem. 1 over 5 divided by 2 over 5. So this one, first number never change. Second number upside down. 5 to top, 2 to the bottom. And here we can simplify 5 and 5 can, can be cross cancel and 1 times 2, 1 times 1 with our glitter pen. So 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, so the result is half. Okay, now we make the number a little bit more interesting and more complicated. So, <clears throat> uh, 4 over 15 divided by um, 8 over 25. Let's do this. So, 4 we do not change, 4 over 15. The first number never, ever, ever, never change. And the second number, the dividing number, the divider, we will change it upside down to make it into a multiplication form. So uh, the bottom is 25. Now we move it to the top. 25 over 8. You can do the multiplication, but the number is too big. Why not simplify at this stage? When you do math, one of the core value in math is to simplify as early as possible or make your calculation as simple as possible. Do not have do not allow a lot of big number without simplifying. It will increase your chance to make mistake. When you both divided by 4 is 1 and 2, both divided by 5, 5 and 3. So 
This way, three times two is much easier than 15 times eight. Four times 25, although you know it's 100, four quarters makes 100, but still, one times five is so much easier, right? One times five is five. Three times two is six. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, number four, we make another problem. Too many numbers. Okay, <clears throat> this one with 25 over 81 divided by 27 over 50. So, first number we do not change, 25 over 81. The second number, the divider, we will change the sign from division to multiplication. What we do on this side, we will flip it up. Okay, so uh, 27 on the bottom, we will move it to the uh, on, on top, move it to the bottom, 27, and top is 50, the, 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 the bottom is 50, now we move it to the top, is 50, okay, so 25 and 50, oh, this is 1, this is 2 times 50, can we cross cancel? No, I intentionally make this problem. Not really intentionally. Anyway, I realized that they are both on top. They are both are the numerator. They cannot cross cancel. No matter how tempting it is, you cannot cross cancel. And 81 and 27, they are both on the bottom portion. You cannot cross cancel. This has to be, you have to time 81 times 27 and on the numerator part 25 times 50 there is nothing you can do you have to do this one you because <clears throat> it's already to the simplest form you cannot find common um common denominator you cannot find common factors on the between the 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 the, the, the numerator and the denominator so you cannot do anything so 120 is one two five zero 81 times nine 81 times nine is um let's do three eighty one times three is two four three times nine seven twenty so this is the result no matter how complicated it is you have to do this. Okay, now let's see. Maybe we will just stop here. No, we will do something um, of uh, mixed number. Okay, so here we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, and this is a mixed number. One, and 1 over 2 divided by uh, 3 over 4. What do we do? So the first one, the first, when we do multiplication and division, we have to change into pure factor form. It cannot be a mixed number, so we have to change it into a pure factor form. So the bottom, the denominator is 2. The numerator, 2 plus 1, is a 3. 
divided by, we will do it step by step. I will not change the sign yet. 3 over 4. We finish one problem at a time. I know you can finish the second problem. No, we do not do it. First, we change the first number. The second number, we just completely copy it. Do not change. And now, 3 over 2 divide, we change into multiply. When we multiply, we need to switch the number. Uh, uh, turn it upside down to time it's reciprocal. So 4 at the bottom, now we move 4 to top and 3 to the bottom. And this time we can use our glitter pen to cross cancel. 3 and 3 become 1 and 2 and 4 become 1 and 2 and the result is 2. Okay, it's a little bit too simple, so let's do more complicated. 5 and 1 over 3 divided by uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, 3 and 4 over 4 over uh, 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 4 over 1 4 over 3 mm -hmm. 4 over mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. It's not a very smart problem, but uh, let's just do it. So 5 and 1 over 3 becomes 3 at the bottom, 16 over 3 divided by, since 4 is the bottom, 13 on top equal to 16 and 3, 16 over 3 times. 13, 4 over 13, there's nothing we can do, it can be 64 over 39. You can do just leave like this or you can change into, um, into a mixed number form, 39 is 25. And 39, uh, 25 over 39. Okay, number 7, we will try to think a, a little bit smarter number. Okay, 7 and um, 1 over 3 divided by mm -hmm, uh, 2 and... Um, over 9, 2 and 2 over 9. This might be a little bit easier. So change first number into 321, 22 over 3 divided by 9 is copying an 20. And this time we can copy the first number, do not change, and the second number, turn it upside down to change into multiplication, 20 on the bottom, 9 on top. Now we can use our glitter pen, 1 and 3, and here is 11 and 10. So it becomes 33 over 10 equal to 3 and 3 over 10. And that is it. I hope it's not too tedious. At least it is good for you to follow asleep. 
Wish you happy, 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 pee, 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 every day. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do.